What's up guys? This is my motorcycle gear video. I'm going to show you guys my motorcycle gear, go over what I have. So let's get started. Um, the most important tool while riding a motorcycle is of course the um, cleaning brush. No, I'm just kidding. I just I don't know why that's there. Don't even ask me. Um, got three helmets. Those two are for passengers or somebody that just, you know, wants to try to ride my bike and you know, of course they're going to crash it. So <laughs> I don't care about my bike getting crashed. I just care about my helmet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, those are just some old helmets I have. So if somebody wants to try my bike, they can use them. These are my those uh that one probably costed 150 bucks when I was like five. Um, well, I used to ride on the back of my dad's bike, and I like I needed a helmet. So when I was five, I got that thing. So it fits a girl nicely. It doesn't fit a guy very good. That one's an old MX helmet. I took the the what do you call it the frame the no the um sh the visor off of took the visor off of to make it look more streety and it does it looks kind of like a street helmet now I had to cut the pads out so it could fit a normal person not like a two year old this is my nice built helmet and I can't open that with one hand but it's pretty nice interior and exterior helmet overall I think I paid a good 150 bucks for it and it's really nice really nice helmet got air vents and all so uh, I gotta get the anti-fog so when I'm doing vlogs and stuff it doesn't fog up on you um, and I also wanna like get the uh, what do you call it like sun sun visor or whatever it's kinda like sunglasses except um, it's like having sunglasses except one big one so you don't have to wear sunglasses inside of your helmet which I do sometimes you know in California the, the weather is so hot that you need to have sunglasses when you're doing track days or when you're doing sport videos and you want to try to do some wheelies and stuff in the sun it takes so long to film you need to have those sunglasses so I'm gonna get a special visor that's um, sunproof or whatever you want to call it here are my gloves really nice gloves they're all leather they got the um, metal I'm uh, not metal uh, like special plastic platings and stuff so if you crash you don't kill yourself because you know what happens when you hit your hand it obviously kills you um, no, but no, you know, they're pretty nice gloves. They, um, I think I've, I've never actually crashed on them because I got them just a few days ago. But, um, I'm sure that they'd go, I think, I mean, they're leather on the bottom. So, I'm sure if you were to drop your bike with them or whatever, they'd hold up just fine. Here are both my motorcycle shoes. I got these from my grandpa. Um, my grandpa gave these to me. They have cleats on the bottom, really nice. Leather exterior and interior. These are good for if you, like, want to sh practice shifting gears. They got these nice um, hard toes and stuff. Um, you know, the, the tip of them are really nice. I think I paid, well, I think he probably paid 150 bucks for them. These gloves I probably paid 40 bucks for, um, on sale for 29 Here are my keys. Here's my GoPro mount. My, like, really cheap, cheapo uh, one gigabyte memory card, SD card. Um, here is my GoPro Hero. That is the box to it here is my steel toe boots I wear you know these are those are good for every day like just cruising these are good for when you're doing track days or you're doing try to make like some kind of stunt video I use those these for when I'm doing stunt videos on my Yamaha when I'm just cruising around want to go catch the sunset or whatever I use those so anyways my jacket this one's nice it's nice because it's got um, sleeves that wrap around your wrist so when air doesn't go flying through it when you're going fast that gets annoying after a while. So does the um, bottom of it. It wraps around your waist. So once again, wind doesn't go flying through it. It's also nice because it's kind of lightweight. So if it's really hot out and you want to do a track day or whatever, you don't get um, really hot in it. Also, it's got um, even if it's really cold, it still like keeps you warm. So it's, it's like a perfect jacket. I think when Grandpa gave that to me, he probably paid a good anywhere from two hundred to a hundred dollars because it's a really nice brand. It's Morgan Run. Um, so it's really nice. It also is like really, you can see it's really nice. I um, I haven't, I've never, I only use it like once or twice because I just got it a couple days ago. Here are my nice um, jeans. Wear these every day whenever I'm riding. I have a black pair and this and these pair, and then I also have a gray pair. And um, these are nice. They, you know, if you were to drop your bike going around a corner, um, especially that corner where I usually go around. It has a cliff on one side. If you were to drop your bike on that, these things will hold up fine. 
I always fear I I always fear going around that corner and then dropping my bike and flying off that cliff. But what's nice is that I've already done that. So actually, I used to have a, a different a little pocket bike like my new Yamaha, but I actually it got destroyed when I dropped it and it flew off that cliff. So I always wear gear now because I kind of got a little I got a little bit hurt when that happened. Um, anyhow, so these are nice jeans. I paid good once again like fifty bucks for these jeans, and then. Um, so that's that. I got you know the two. These are these are my helmets over here. I just want to show you them really quickly. These are nice, but um, uh, you know, like I said, when I was a kid, 